We also plan on increasing. Uh, so why is his priority a website? Mm. He his approach Afbop, his approach Daf. Those are big businesses. Mm. If they have to research about him, where do they go to? Apart from cost, what is the uh, the eco advantages of the the composite material? Um, The idea is to present an image of information, that you know where you want to go, and I didn't hear that. I actually didn't know what to say to him. He wasted my time. My time. My time. My time. My time. Oh, fine. Uhambe sa ziwuti si lagulona. According to a study done by the South African Council of Churches, it is estimated that South Africans spend almost 9.3 billion yearly on funerals. Yabana <laughs> a young pioneer, Riamoketsu Shabalal, who owns a great marking and logistic pallet business in Kharangua. Business arena, rather than who keep up to date, delay the trends, mm -hmm. restriver or really pusher towards setting the trends. Game for a logo, who began and won a match at his weight. Lapo Konaitola, it's over logo and a picture for investment as on Gena Lapayana and Company Nia. My name is Ria Mokhedzi Chabalala, and I'm the chief entrepreneur of Foshaka in Zogutle. We manufacture low-cost, yet high-quality products using composite materials. Our grave markers are eco-friendly, they're beautifully designed, they'll stand the test of time. Innovation Hub, Lacona, and the Sana Nosoma Pisnisi, and so best Trita Usugu Nai. Yamana Gelen Sizwale, Nayori Kolelo Guti, innovative, Jango Bagena, S7, the Gruna Business Lelig, Elama Funeral. Gifunu Gena La Paparati, Gitokusan, and Nayolens Israel and Pumagel Business to a Fushak. Giswaka Bans, Gutigabona, Benza Inigel like I, Hagashon and Gaparat. How are you? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, I'm going to business in All right, no? let's go through. After you, sir. So, I would idea your business here how? What made you decide to open a similar business here in Goyo? Immediately, I was like, mechanical engineering. I actually had this ingenious idea. I was like, the building blocks, okay. composite material. I was like, I have three, four million to commercialize the blocks. So I came up with another ingenious idea. I was like, the same manufacturing mm. process, the same manufacturing technology, mm. a highly consumed product for mm. the black communities, mm. which are the tombstone. Yeah. Doomstones are in their business arena, as now when they are like a modi product, things that you wear like sanitary wear, yeah. grave marker. Yeah. Co business, yeah, more high key thing is interesting, right? Co business, yeah, arena currently, yeah. kitty grave marker, oh, okay, little pellet. Charity out here, who funded the current project is interesting with the business. How EAP, where did that funding come from? Well, um, El. As Kinsiki Hola, Nali Chumita Karot Kagane, Rabula, Garden Service, Go Gorinang, as Nakwinzi Zama, Rabula, Kawashi, then Ratoma Reza di Le Mobile Food Cut, Rito Rehona di Party or di the gig, Dozibia, Nereagua Park, you know, and sell food there. Bofushaka, Kepa Branding. I manage the marketing 
and a bit of PR also. Go go my I have to actually know what what goes in, like the products that I use, because we mostly use biodegradable products, um, meaning that we are green for one, and two we use recyclable um, material. So it for me that that's the reason why I had to actually kind of get a knowledge of some sort of exactly what is in this product that we produce. So, Puti, I'm going to say business like from Le Elokshin, when the Winnesa Prongo Spirit was on letter last week on a manager and look cool is a ranger, and you know, Malsima Missanja and business like Jungo Basilila. Spony e growth potential because Masila were in the center of everything. You know, Skonoku supplier, Chobeke, Pretzi, Amanskrali, Nayu, Prongo Spirit. So, how do you make sure when you know you're always keeping up to date, Kadi trends in the Zalango industry, and making sure what it's ever money, you know, the loopholes and new ideas that Kahang? Um, business arena, rather than who keep up to date, the lady trends, mm -hmm. restriver or really pusher towards setting. The trends because we are an innovative company, so yeah. we're always looking for the ideas that in Pshat who push the bar, so we say industry a copy. When I'm going to company, Mr. Mr. Wawesai, my main job is to manage the operations of the company. Yes, mm -hmm. the production phase. Mm. Yeah. How much more high of saying more so company? Start? What does your day look like? We we, we communicate with, with with admin. Oh, okay. We get orders from admin. Mm -hmm. Then that's when we basically can plan our day. Yeah. Let's okay. say we have to make ten markers a day. Yeah. Then we divide it. We know her. five before lunch, ten before lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically how we go about. Sure, 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 sure. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So, this is what the final product is, yeah? Uh huh. So, basically, more. We demold it. Okay. And then, once it comes out, it gets trimmed, it gets painted on, and then we lace the names on. This process, you know, Leo Kurumanga, you and Zagala is cutting a singer, and how long does it take? Um, it takes. About an hour yeah. to an hour and a half to keep a product. We're using the brave markers as our cash cow. Mm. If you were making money, then you'd have a valid position to say it's our cash cow. Cash cow. Shabalala's passion for entrepreneurship is evident in every word he utters. Pelagalins is while I get to get a man in by. Yay tan, the winds are um sevens with sand. Yay tan, the food took design. No quack isn't. Gazanjazak. Sipinus and Oxana num de Noakeg or was it was Tazelagabans in Gayo Lins is. I love chess. A lot. Um, I was actually taught by my father. You know, um, I was still in primary school at the time. Um, came back with these old PCs when PCs were, you know, just at work and we didn't, you know, people didn't have personal computers at the time. Ramohezi, ohudile ali matlaka matlaka. Koro, eh, nana le energy mo, e magata. Koro neer haya le poskolo. The way long or nasa is the horror of Unyaka, so so kids in Hazena Moto. Kichesi, kick soccer, kid, you know, so kid game with a good colon did debate. There was a time, I think 2007, where we actually went to Greece representing South Africa, you know, playing against FIDE masters, grandmasters, international masters. Beautiful, 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 beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. 
relationship wise close you don't really talk but yeah we do get along thembane go le le stola so themba ramohetse e thembane a ja gore a makala gore go wa monna wa go tsha ya no wa bona growing up with my brother was 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 fun it was fun we had a whole lot of moments together we used to fight a lot um but we 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 were um, actually a bit very close in fact ba utlwa na go mona te mara ho tsena o monlo mo tla ka mama ra mohetse thembane lena thembane mama e e nge ra metse lena thembane wa bona mara ba ho dile mona te fela ba rata i get to look up to him you know i learn a lot from him Sometimes I feel like we are the same age. I I honestly think now I I should have done things differently with my brother and growing up with him and connecting with him. O responsa bolo. And ke ro ke impressa ko ke bona go ka re. Eh mosadi fiance wa hai le tsa tsela monyetsi. I'm a father right now. Um, I'm very excited about this. You know, this is this is really beautiful um, because in my head, you know, I want the best for 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 my son. We're now from one. I said I live three four months. Now we're learning about it too. Now we're thinking of it's getting one. I'd say my weakest quality would be his fiance. <laughs> he's somebody else when he's around his fiance. I make sure I want to do everything for her and 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 for Kanyesa, you know, so whenever I'm talking to her, you know, I I have to, you know, bring a different approach, you know. Say my strongest um, qualities would be uh, being creative, being innovative. So, growing up, um, I've always been creative. I've always been into arts, into 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 sports. Um, well, some might say I've been extremely academical. You know, I just but you know, for me it wasn't really. I, I just got A's and and, <laughs> and didn't really care about any of that. Ori amuhetu, hinsi zwa itache iriske nkulu ga kulu ngogo tige yena wa yegele mse benzwaki. We mechanical engineering. What is that ngogo tige yena? Uzo ba usoma business. Gemva gomi nyaga hinsi zwa lena iwa ifuga nezi tozaki zama business. Onke se ngati manje ke ahlangana njengoba le ntsizwa lena yenza umsebenzi omuhle kakhulu encome kayo kodwa ongabizi kakhulu however ingabe konke loku le ntsizwa ekwenzayo kuyakwazi kumlethela umthelela na ebusiness ini lakhe Good afternoon I'm here at the Making Moves studio I'm very excited but also a bit nervous I'm about to go in and meet Pepsi um, and I'm, today I'm actually expecting you know to learn more you know um, get as much clients as i possibly can and basically just get more exposure for my business as you've just seen ramohetz's products are innovative well designed low cost yet high quality the problem is a high quality product doesn't always guarantee sales ramohetz is here to tell us how he's going to turn his business around and finally start making a profit ramohetz welcome to making moves Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm strong and happy. Fantastic. Take mm. a seat. Let's see if you're still strong and happy when I'm done with you. <laughs> um, interesting business. Thank you. The one commonality or the theme that seems to go through your business is that you use composite products, mm. which makes your cost of production low. Mm. But that's all you've got, frankly. <laughs> All right, um, our products are innovative, unique looking, and well-designed, like I'm saying. Um, the material is not 
our, our product is not all about the material, but we different. We 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 just bring a different. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I hear you. You're bringing something different. It's a different design. It's a different type of uh, input material that you use. Why are you not selling more of your product? Because if it's such a fantastic product, more people should be buying it, and your sales are weak. Why? Mm. All right. Um, currently, our sales, I could say, have dropped simply because of a car accident. You know that I was involved with, which definitely took you know our business plummeting. Um, right now, actually, we do have a strategy, however, of turning all of that around and growing the business and taking it where it needs to be before we can, you know, eventually. Okay. So it before off. we start. Mm -hmm talking about your strategy. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that you are your business? So you got into a car accident, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, and then sales plummeted. Are you the mm -hmm. salesperson in the business? No, I, I'm not the salesperson. They are sale, a sales team. And then uh, currently, I actually, you know, set up a management team who will be able to run things, you know, because I, I was able to see that, all right, my downfall also led to, you know, sudden plummeting of the business. Okay, I, I'm trying to get my head around mm. your business. What's the turnaround strategy? Let's start there. All right, um, right now we've actually positioned ourselves in the center. We're planning on supplying um, which the, our biggest clients, uh, which is our Bob and Dabs. We're planning on supplying them provincially initially and then going uh, nationally. So we've positioned ourselves in basically the center of where all the, 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 the parlors are. And then from there, then we supplying to one parlor that's going to cater to ten more, and 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 like almost like a, a, a spider effect, a spider web effect, yeah. And and that's how we're actually planning on 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 growing. So you're the, getting the, the parlors to sell on your behalf to other parlors. Is is that the idea? We we getting the parlors basically Avbob to distribute throughout its entire parlors because right now we're actually having to go door to door to get them to consume our product or, or to, to, to sell our product to, to the grieving family. So right now the, the plan is to get to uh, supply the entire Avbop chain, the entire Davs chain. Is there a big enough market? Do you think that um, there are enough people that are interested in grave markers? Th th there is a massive uh, market. Um, for, for one, every 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 funeral that is conducted, you know, they make sure they, they try to make sure that there is, you know, a grave marker, especially if, if, if families can, you know, um, afford it. It becomes a problem if you can't find your graveyard, and that's we we finding it. Uh, we actually went through a, a scenario like that two years ago where we were delivering tombstones, you know, composite material tombstones. We had to install on that day, but they couldn't find. You know, they they graveyard. You know, they had to go to the the the, the offices, and still it was still a mission for them to go through the the, the records and logs and, and to, to to basically. So find the why 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 did you shut down the tombstone side of the business? As I was, you know, attending, you know. Uh, like the Branson Center, Innovation Hub, uh, SAB Kickstart, you know, all of these, the Hope Factory, all of these um, institutions, they actually uh, helped me mold, you know, my business acumen. And I got to realize that, you know what, I can't just be, you know, dragging all of these products, you know, just to, 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 to make a whole lot of money. I need to focus on one product, get it out there, you know, once it's at the stage where I'm comfortable with it, either sell it off, you know, or, or reinvent it. You know, and then move on to a to a to a different product. You went to these fancy business places where they mm. give business advice, which mm. is fantastic. Mm. They're very useful, mm. and they told you that you mustn't make a whole lot of money with lots of products. You must just focus on one and <laughs> not be able to sell it. Um, well, <laughs> the thing is, we we, we are making. We, we're using the grave markers as our cash cow. The reason we chose the grave markers instead of all of these other products because... But bro, you're not making money. Mm. If you were making money, then you'd have a valid position to say it's our cash cow. Mm -hmm. But right now, I don't know if it's even a cash cow. Let's call it a cash pig. Mm -hmm. It's small. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, 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 <laughs> what's, what's the plan? 
All right, no, um, like I'm saying... The okay, oh, well, hang mm. on. Mm. Okay, the plan is, All right. I've bobbed, dove. Yeah. What if that doesn't yeah. work? What if the national, at a national head office level, mm. they choose not to go with your proposal? What happens then? All right, if they choose not to go uh, with our proposal, then we'll simply go through, you know, uh, approach the, the client directly, you know, because that's also another strategy we, we've actually been working with, going directly to the client. And that the has client also. being the funeral parlor. Not the funeral parlor, but the end user, the which is family. the grieving family. Yeah, correct. So you wait to hear, okay, and then you're there. No, no. I totally agree. I mean, I, it's a product that has a market. All he needs to do is to get his numbers right, understand his market more. He would, he would, he, I think he would grow as a business properly. Mm. I actually didn't know what to say to him. He wasted my time. Yeah. My church is like Lindile. He says we're going to put me like I'm eating in this way. Get it? Show me how. Mm-hmm. If she learns this way, good to know. I part time a presentation. Come and watch you. Hola, I'm going to be new. We are show good to know. Mr. President, I'll pay you. Firstly, I mean, I started off being disappointed. Now I'm just angry. You wasted my time. Your presentation was lukewarm. In fact, worse than lukewarm, it was cold. You didn't show an understanding of your business and your numbers, and you lack discipline. That's your problem as an entrepreneur. You're bright, you're innovative, but you're a dreamer and you lack discipline. So your feet need to touch the ground. That's what you need. And just settle. Like, settle and just get on with it. You didn't have a presentation. You didn't come and, you know, like, actually, you've got a good business and you've got good potential, but you lack discipline. We picked up that you are too much into innovation. Get on the business, focus on running the business. Let's get the numbers right. First thing first, we need a catalog of what you design, because if we meet underwriters, if we meet funeral parlors, and your website has nothing on it, we don't know, you say you design, but what did you design? So give us a catalog mm -hmm. that your salespeople would take from funeral parlor to funeral parlor. Do you know what an underwriter is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so underwriters are the big guys, right? Yeah. They underwrite the, the insurance policies mm -hmm. for the various funeral parlors, etc. Yeah. I want you to go and talk to underwriters, three underwriters, and one or two Stockfell burial societies, okay? okay? We all understand that it is very important for us to give our families a dignified funeral. Mm -hmm. So I'm not of the opinion that your sales force is needing to do that. You only need a sales force when you need to speak to masses of people. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is speak to key people within these underwriting divisions. Mm -hmm. So your underwriting managers, phone them up, set an appointment up with them and say to them, this is what I'd like to add into your benefit that you're offering these people. Mm -hmm. And then um, the final task for me is a business plan. You need to go and do a proper, thorough business plan, All right. right? Plus, mm -hmm. in addition to that business plan, a presentation, okay. right? And it, it ties into what you were saying about a smart guy you can get someone to do a website for you for free you can mm -hmm. so use the time that you've got fix your website just do it man it's not that mm -hmm. complicated mm -hmm. right okay so your fate lies in my hands and uh, collectively We're going to give you another chance and invite you back, but you're going to have to be very serious about the tasks that you've been given. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, you've got two weeks. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Business, we all understand the business. It's a good business. 
That's why we brought him back. It, because it's a good business, it can work. But we need him to bring us numbers. We need him to, to show commitment, to show discipline, to show the willingness to work. I, I link discipline with everything, with my entire, you know, life, you know, so it's gonna mean I have to go back to being vegetarian again. That's not what we do. We, we use media platform like yeah. like like radio. We yeah. to send out parlor, um, uh, uh, flyers. You know all, all all of these drives. You know my, my problem with you mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. is that you're scatty mm -hmm. all over the bloody place, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because you had ten different product lines yeah. or whatever, yeah. then you yeah. slimmed down to one. Mm -hmm. You're selling a literally selling curry one by one. Mm -hmm. The the marker. I mean, I don't know how that's a business. <laughs> one by one markers. If you're not doing scale, mm -hmm. it doesn't make very much sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you off for a coaching session, have a chat, right. and then I'll see you tomorrow. All right. No, okay. thank you very much for your All time, right, man. What you did, you know, very insightful, and you, you're actually getting me asking these questions that are getting me to, to think and, and, and see how I can grow this business and myself. Thank you. Okay, it's important to think. So mm. Stay seated, don't go anywhere right. before mm. I send you off. We've just spent some time unpacking Ria's business challenges and growth plans. Now I'm going to pair him up with a like-minded coach for some tips on how to turn his innovation into a money-making product. Ooh, this man yo, was grilling me, eh? Sure. <laughs> I thought, why is he being so mean to me? But actually, some of you know his questions, you know, they actually you know, got me thinking, these are some of the things I have been thinking about, but you know, it just actually, you know, make, made me, you know, expand on them, you know, and go, go more in depth with them and see how, you know, I can actually better this business, you know? I saw on your website that you have uh, products of, that you do construction, you do houses, you do coffers, I don't know. Is your website updated? It is unique ideas that separate successful and average entrepreneurs. We are going to issue a little cool magus of our business. Nalu little thing a good to muntu. I'll nagge legacy. Conagels was good till cool, lea pambi. Ila conagos of business amaning, but tola ge conagama coaches. Nai coach it, and I'm such. I'm Table Gordon Wanjan, CEO of Info Africa Marketing Consulting that specializes in providing small businesses within the cities of Johannesburg, Pretoria, Cape Town, Durban, with consulting tools they can use to grow and expand their businesses. As a coach, my greatest desire is to see a business transform itself, to see the managers of the business transform themselves, and to see the customers being satisfied. The key thing for us is to build a model that allows a business to interact more with its market. Success, prosperity, is only for those who are willing to stick it out to them. Last year was a tough year. I noticed that you had an accident and it affected the business. What are the plans for this year? Um, well, this year we, we're just looking at taking, you know, things to the next level altogether. Um, we think we, we, we currently uh, in talks with um, two of the biggest uh, funeral companies in South Africa at the moment. Um, we're seeing how we can integrate um, our business into supplying supplying them provincially and then moving to a national level because right now we're just supplying these smaller parlors and yeah so we just want to grow that side um, of things and also of course just um, uh, expand our reach to all of the other smaller funeral parlors 
you know, and then be able to, to supply them. It's a good thing to, to go after big business. Make no mistake, it looks nice, mm -hmm. but then you must also plan for smaller streams of revenue, mm -hmm. which you've been doing. But I think it's important that you expand on that. Uh, what have you done so far when it comes to, to marketing? I mean, what have you put in place? Um, right now, we, we have a drive where we pay the post office and okay. then we give them our, 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 our flyers. Okay. So every day they're going to deliver to, to houses, you know, their letters and, and all. They're also delivering uh, some of our flyers. But we're also uh, thinking of setting up a small group of, uh, uh, of um, people in different areas. Um, and then these teams are simply going to go on the ground, find out more um, information, if it means, you know, house to house, knocking, you know, cold calling, just to basically uh, suss out um, the market, you know, the size and potential. How many funeral parlors do you have on your books? I mean, you, you, you can tell us you've been knocking, but how many are on your books? Well, currently there's about 21 on our books right now. If somebody doesn't tell you about numbers in business, there are no goals. So we need to make sure that he gets his numbers right, yeah. then we can guide the goals. You have a good raw material composite, mm -hmm. which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I think narrowing too much on grave marker, it's, it's, a, it's a good market. Mm -hmm. But what other memories can you create with that product? Mm -hmm. It's very important to think about that because, mm -hmm. I mean, I sit here and I'm saying to myself, okay, I like composite. I want to use composite material. It's durable, it's beautiful, it's affordable. Mm. What else can I use it for? Sure, he knows the story. He was just bringing light to, you know, to a whole lot of things, you know. I saw on your website that you have uh, products of, that you do construction, you do houses, you do coffins, I don't know. Is your website updated? Our, 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 our website was basically just how, highlighting, you know, where we started from and, and, and how the products basically evolved to to what they are now, you know. Because initially, I started off with building blocks which couldn't, you know, get commercialized. So I moved the same process and technology to making uh, composite material tombstones. And then as that pushed, you know, we got into other products like sanitary ware and grave markers and tables and things like that. So that that that's just showing the transition of how the business grew. You see, but if I go to your website, it doesn't look good. Mm. Your website needs a touch immediately. I think uh, the most important thing about him is that he is willing to learn. Uh, he has focus. He might need a few things to be tweaked there and there to make sure the business falls into place, but he has a desire to learn. Mm. Tomorrow you, you'll be pitching mm. uh, to a team of experts who analyze your business. What are you going to tell us? Tell us. What, what can we expect? <laughs> well, right now, you know, after hearing, you know, all of these things you're telling me, I guess I just have to bootstrap all of that and, and make sure that I, I'm straight to the point. They can understand clearly what my business is, where it's going, you know, and, and how I can turn it into a, you know, um, an empire. In the pitch, I think he needs to polish up his numbers. I picked up that is very general. I mean, he has a good idea about what he wants to do, but he doesn't have the numbers to back up the request for 5,000. First thing first, numbers. We right. need to have numbers. You need to have a good estimate of how many funerals occur every weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but you, it's your job to find that out. All right. Then you need to present us why we should give you the 50,000. What would you use it for? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's good to say you, you want the 50,000, but what would it change in your business? Mm -hmm. If it, if it comes to marketing, what is going to be the marketing strategy? Mm. Uh, if if you sell 200 markers in a weekend, if we give you 50,000, how many will you sell the next weekend? Mm. So because in the end, we only finance growth. He making moves in a sumo to some common over 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 11 young entrepreneurs will get a chance to showcase their businesses. Business. Each entrepreneur will get an opportunity to pitch for this investment into their business. The judges will use their own discretion. We will go through to our final episode where they will battle it out for the grand prize. We will be making moves in Jalong of Sombrugo for half past one. I mean, we say BC one, Msanti, for sure. A 
Ah, I worry, thank Papa. Yesterday you had a chat, the Pepsi. I can tell what you know the way my langa thing got No, yeah, he grilled me, eh? He grilled me, he grilled me. He grilled me. Actually I almost punched him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, he was asking very, you know, tough questions. Questions that actually got me thinking about my business and where I really want to take it. So I, I really enjoyed the interview. Mm -hmm. yeah. You back again? Yeah. What about Pepsi? Mm-hmm. Pepsi is a little thing. The coach is a little thing. Yeah. And hey, the resident judge is a little thing. Baba Rar, why are you Are you ready? I'm ready. Prepared? I am ready. What did you prepare? Um, it's just a pitch, four minute mm. pitch. It's all in my head. Mm. Didn't bring any gadgets, any PowerPoint slides, anything. All in your head? All in my head. Aye, but that is. But you didn't do anything. All right. All the best, Thanks. Shop, shop. Thanks. Shop, shop. 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 Shop, Omelega o putiro na game. A pitch. Matata ma churches. Got out tie na game. Young kinta zo kulma ngai. Ilap mkond. I guess bo no go to go inzaga la. Ramukhezi. Good afternoon. How are you? Fantastic, man. Welcome back to Making Moves. You are now going to pitch your business to this panel of three judges. Uh, you've met the two of us. This is Martine. You haven't met her. She's the third judge. You've got four minutes to pitch your business to us and tell us why we should invest in your business. And your four minutes starts now. Imagine going to a gravesite. And when you get there, you can't find the grave of a loved one. This is a problem that many poor or less privileged families are facing every single day. And we have the solution. Good day. My name is Rea Mkhezi Chabalala, and I'm the chief entrepreneur of Foshaka in Zogutle. We manufacture low-cost yet high-quality grave markers using composite materials. Composite materials are basically fibers that are woven, and when laced with resins, they harden and cure to give out a beautiful and unique finish. Our grave markers are unique and as durable as granite. Yet an equally shaped and sized granite grave marker goes for anything between 1,200 and all the way to 2,000 Rand. Our product between 350 and 600. Yet we're able to achieve juicy, lucrative margins of about 300%. We've been in business for three years. And we've been able to, with the research we've done, we found out that about 6,250 people die every single week in Gauteng alone. We plan on capturing only about 5% of that market, and that would generate revenues of about 400,000 Rand every single month for us. And this is how we plan on doing it. We plan on strategically setting up groups of salespeople that of course will get paid by commission, who will aggressively market our business. We only need 50 parlors of which those 50 parlors, they need to consume about six grave markers every single week for us to achieve this. We also recently found out that there's names that are put up on newspapers and on radio of people who are deceased. We're not only planning on targeting, approaching these families, but we also plan on advertising on these platforms. We also plan on increasing our capacity to be able to produce, uh, get more molds, to be able to service, uh, to service these clients. We, uh, we plan on using the investment to fix our website, enhance it, make it better, make sure that people can buy directly from the website. I plan on selling this business in the next three to four years. And all of that money will be used to start my next venture, which is low cost yet high quality composite material logistic pallets. And I believe they're going to disrupt the pallet industry as we know it today. Thank you. You've got about a minute left. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, no. No. 
Okay, so we're gonna go straight into a question and answer. So in order to make 400,000 Rand, mm. you need to sell 300 markers a month. Is that correct? Is a that week. what you're saying? 300 markers a week, correct. So 300 markers a week at 350 bucks yeah. a marker. Yeah. And you're making a 300% margin, which means a marker costs you, what, about 50 about, bucks? Yeah, about 62 bucks. 62 bucks to yeah. make, okay. You need to sell 300 per week. How many are you selling now? Currently, we're selling about between 80 and 100. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're selling between 80 and 100 through how many parlors? Through 21 parlors. Okay. That's an average of about five a parlor. So between two and five uh, grave markers a week per parlor. You should be making a profit of 21,000 Rand a month. I mean, a week, roughly, based on what you said you're currently doing. Mm -hmm. If you're making a margin of 300% on a 350 Rand product, that's 288 Rand, more or less, mm -hmm. right? Times 21 parlors. I've seen your financials mm -hmm. or your statements. You're not making 21,000 Rand a week in profit. How many people are dying for you to get five? Um, in those funeral parlors alone? Yes. Well, in those funeral parlors alone, all of the, the people that are being buried by them come to us, all the orders come to us. So all of them? Yes, correct. Every single one of them correct. comes to you? Correct. And on an average of five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how long did it take you to, to forge relationships with these funeral parlors? Um, it's taken us three years currently. Okay. Apart from cost? What is the, uh -huh. the eco um, advantages of the, the composite material as opposed to the traditional granite, granite. et cetera? All right, granite is a, is a, is a resource that's been mined and, and which is a depleting a resource that's, that, 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 that's depleting very, very, very quickly. Um, our composite material grave markers are basically engineered. So um, it's very eco-friendly and it's 100% recyclable. Um, you understand where I'm going, Ria? Do you understand where my, where my question's leading you? All right, may, maybe if you, 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 you just rephrase. Apart from please. cost, you is need that, to... Is that an opportunity to answer? Mm. Uh, I'd like to, yes. I'll to come in a little bit and... Um... In, yesterday when we spoke, I did emphasize that we need to customize the product. We, you need to allow the families to decide what grave markers they would prefer and what quality and what price. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you thought about that? I mean, I hear you pitch the product because that's your core product, but you didn't give the perspective that the, the business or the, the grave marker would be chosen, would be selected by the families. Have you thought about that? Um, yeah, well, we, we have thought about that, especially because we, we have such a large range of, of, of designs, beautiful, unique designs. Um, right now, what, what is currently happening with the parlors is they simply decide which one they're going to take. There's one, maybe one for the males, one for the females, and then one for, for the babies. And then that's the package that they get. But however, every family has you know, the power to choose which, 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 which type they want, what design, and... Yeah, um, just give us a few minutes to discuss right. it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, well, I think it went well, even though I didn't cover a whole lot of things, but I think they basically understand, you know, what my business is all about and, and, and where it's trying to get. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. I think his, his biggest weakness was displaying where the 50,000 would go to. Mm -hmm. He has a good business. All he needs to do is to put the numbers right. Because if we give him 50,000, where does it go to? A website doesn't take 10,000. Mm -mm. It doesn't. So that tells you he wasn't prepared. Mm. Uh, if we give him 50,000, he should identify key areas of the market he's gonna target he should have sales numbers, he should have sales people, because the idea is to present an image 
of information that you know where you want to go. Mm. All you need is the money to come in and you activate. And I didn't hear that. You pitched? Yes. How did it go? When I, how do you think you did that? Um, I think I did well. I think I did well because basically I, I just laid out my business, you know, showed them where I am currently and where I want to go. So. I, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, no, like, like I was saying earlier, you know, some of these things, switch off no because but so you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Guys, okay, here's my problem. Firstly, and, and some of it might be an indictment on you yeah. as a coach. And this is why I say that. Yes. Is because firstly, he said his product is meant for people that can't afford the, um, the, what do you call yes, them? The, uh, the um, granite. Tombstone, yeah, right, yes. granite tombstones, yeah. aren't it? Yes. Funeral parlors that service that market don't use websites to reference they material. Mm. So why is his priority a website? Do you think Kwashwa Konjo Shilin won't get too good to freeze a gang nanny? Do you think Loco get a good like against when? Wimpumel? Well, it could, but you know what? It, 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 it happens. I, I guess Libona get it by Bona, they're just looking at business, see, mm. and then they, my presentation, you know, skills. So whether who nearly a flop or two, I don't think, you know, they, they take that against me. As long as I was able to deliver, you know, we'll be fine. Yeah, well. If you are a 21st century business, like he, he's approached Avbop, he's approached Daf, those are big businesses. Mm -hmm. If they have to research about him, where do they go to? Yeah, okay, fair point. Where, fair where, point. where, where, where no, do no, they go to? Fair so, point. So fair point. The, the website is not a priority, yeah. agreed. He fair should have point. a good brochure. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I researched him on your website. There is no catalog. There's nothing there. I mean, you see three dotted pictures. He's got a good thing going, it just needs the proper guidance, Pepsi. Um, and you know, the guy's been out of the industry for a year because of, because of yes. an injury. And it, things change in a year, I mean, he would have been a better, a, yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, you lose out, in a day you lose out a lot. Um, he has a good product, he, 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 he understands where it's fitting in. He just needs to go and do a little bit of research, more research, and come back with proper numbers.